Welcome, my friends, to this weekly Hope Inspiration, Hope and Healing, sorry, uh, TV show, live stream. We are live tonight and we are expecting to have a visitation of God. Actually, before I just started this show, uh, I received really a specific word from the Lord that I'm willing to read with you. It's coming actually from the Bible. Tonight is not a religious show. It's just about sharing the goodness of God, the one who created us uh, on his own image and willing to touch us, to take care of us. If you are sick tonight, uh, we are going to pray for you in Jesus' name because Jesus is the healer. But also, if you are coming from different background, maybe you are Buddhist or Muslim or a Christian, whatever, or maybe just an atheist, I want to tell you this is the good show as you are going to experience something from heaven. And the Bible says, let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. Tonight, as we are still in this pandemic, many places, it's still a challenge. And despite the ch this pandemic, I know so many people are suffering with different things because maybe you are sick, maybe you just experienced a divorce or you lost a, a very close friends or family member. Uh, I know all of us, life is not always easy. And that's the reason if it's easy or not, because some people are doing very great. The thing is we have to experience the surrounding of this unfailing love of God Almighty. Why? Because there is hope in Him alone. So if you are looking for hope, this is the good show for you. God is going to touch you. By the way, I want really, I always enjoy to know where the people are watching from. Uh, we have I've changed a little bit the way to do the live stream. So we're going to see tonight. Uh, so it would be wonderful if you can just write uh, where you are watching from. I see already some people are writing in French. Let me just speak in French a few minutes to explain and to welcome them. It's tomorrow night. We have a miracles night for the French people. Pour les francophones, bienvenue. Ce soir, c'est un hope and healing en anglais. Demain soir, à 19h, nous avons la soirée mensuelle Miracle et guérison pour les francophones. Donc, ne ratez pas, allez sur la chaîne YouTube. Mais ce soir, c'est en anglais et euh, on se réjouit de voir ce que Dieu fait à travers le monde. On aime les francophones, mais ce soir, on va parler anglais et vous êtes bienvenue de rester. So, sorry for those who are speaking uh, English. Uh, I just share that uh, we have... Uh, uh, tomorrow night, actually, a healing service just for the French countries. Uh, we are expecting so many people. But uh, welcome for those who are watching from Alsace, Oliver from Oklahoma. Uh, praise the Lord. Alessio, bless you from Italy. Uh, Jesus left Ansbach. That's a beautiful name. From Germany, may the Lord bless you. Tony from Lagos, Nigeria. I will never forget uh, uh, when I was there, I was only once over there. I went there in the year of 2000 with my good friend, Reinhard Bonke. It was such a big meeting over there with the largest in the history for his ministry, 1.6 million in one single meeting. So I will never forget Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome to those who are watching from the US, like CLAH3 from Atlanta, GK from Canada. God bless you and other people just write on the chat uh, and we want to welcome you. Uh, tonight, it's a really great joy. I, will, I have a special guest speaker, but before that, I would love to invite you to watch this beautiful song that is connected with what I've shared just before about the goodness of God. Let's listen and why don't you sing with them with the Saddleback Worship. God bless you. Your mercy never fails me All my days I've been held in your hands From the moment that I wake up Until I 
lay my head, I will see of the goodness of God. Cause all my life you have been faithful. It's all my life you have been so, so every breath that I am able, I will see of the goodness of God. I love your voice. Come on, tell me. You have led me through the fire in darkest night. You are close like no other. I've known you as a father, I've known you as a friend, and I have lived in the goodness of God. running after me with my life laid down I surrender now I give you everything cause your goodness is running after me just tell the Lord it's good that your goodness is running I never leave you it's running now even when you're hurt it's always with you your goodness is running now What a beautiful song that was sung by uh, Saddleback Worship, The Goodness of God. And tonight, I know you are going to experience this goodness of this God who loves you so much. It's a great joy to welcome you every week. I have this life, weekly hope and healing uh, in different languages. I mean, in French or in English. Tonight, it's in English. Pour les francophones, c'est demain soir que nous aurons la soirée miracle et guérison. So I want really to welcome all of you. Tonight I have a special guest and let me read the bio that the team prepared. Peter Vance is the senior pastor of the Gospel Forum in Stuttgart, the largest charismatic church in Germany. If you've never seen an amazing church, you have to go there. I've been a few times. Always I was blessed with thousands of people. So just go in Stuttgart. You will be blessed if you cannot go because it's too far. You can watch them on YouTube, Gospel Forum Stuttgart. You will be blessed. In addition to pastoring his church and counseling and equipping other pastors, he travels extensively throughout the nations as the Gospel Forum, as missionaries and contacts in many different, uh, uh, sorry, as contact in many different churches and institutions in over 20 nations. His main concern is to encourage believers about the love of God and the vital importance of having a deep personal relationship with the Lord. So I want to welcome my very good friends, Peter Vance from Stuttgart, Germany. Hi, good evening. Hello, Peter. So good to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing really good. God has helped us through this Corona time, through this pandemic time in a marvelous way. And we're really, really happy that the church is growing, the family is healthy, and we see that God is moving and doing a new thing in our land. 
in our church, in our city, and we really believe him for many, many more things to come in the next year. That's fantastic to hear some good news as when we turn on the TV or just go to social media as there are so many bad news and to hear you it just give hope and that's the purpose for just who tune in I want to welcome you it's a live stream it's a weekly hope and inspiration we want really to release this hope and Peter that will be my first question by sharing just this few news about your region and your church you just release hope uh, could you just help the viewers coming from different parts of the world? How can we find hope today? Actually, it's not so hard like many people think. There is somebody in the Bible called the hope in person, and that is Jesus. Hope means to have an expectancy for the future, which is good. Uh, in German and in the other languages, hope means sometimes, oh, it's not so secure. But in the Greek original language of the Bible, hope means that you can be secure that something good is going to come in the future. And it has to do with what Jesus has done for us as human beings. He has given us the possibility to come into contact with God the Father with the most wonderful person in the whole universe. And through Jesus, to coming to know him, we get close contact to God. And wherever God is, there is hope. There you have an expectancy which is positive for the future. And that's exactly what we experience as single persons, but also at the church and as a community which really trusts God the Father for what it's going to come in the future. Wonderful. But Peter, you are sharing about this God and many people who are watching, they are coming from different religions. And they say, why do you say it's Jesus? Why it's not maybe Mohammed or Buddha or another God? What would you answer to this question? It's very easy for me because 20 years I was trying to find God. And I was actually living a religious life. I tried to do my own religion and to create my own God and to serve this God like I thought it is good. But then through very interesting circumstances, actually through a film, I came in contact with people who told me we have a personal relationship with God. And I said, what? <laughs> you have a personal relationship with God? I've never heard about that 20 years of my life. I had no idea that this is possible. So I decided to make my way and to find this God. And they told me the way to God the Father, to the creator of heaven and earth, to the creator of my life, is Jesus. And Jesus has made way to God the Father by him giving his life for all of our transgressions, for what we have done wrong, that all this can be erased, can be taken away, and the way to God is free the moment we accept what Jesus did for us. And that's exactly what I did that very night. I accepted what Jesus did for me on the cross of Calvary, that he took away all of my sins, that he gave his life for all of my transgressions, and that he cleanses me from all of my sins, which separated me from God, if I believe him. I decided to believe in him. And you know what happened? That very moment when I said, please forgive me all of my sins, everything I have done wrong, I felt the presence of Jesus coming into my heart, into my life. I could feel a love I have never heard or dreamt of in all of my life. In all the 20 years, I had no idea what I was missing. And I was filled by his love, by his mercy. Everything around me suddenly was so nice, so good. I felt God's presence. 
And that changed my whole life till today. I have never gone away from Jesus. And therefore, I'm not discussing about religions or whatever. I made an experience with Jesus, which changed my whole life. And that very night, I started to read the Bible where it is written about Jesus and what he has done for me and how I can make more experiences with him. And that made me to a brand new person, which is still excited of what God is doing every day in my life. That's amazing. And maybe you are just tuning in, hearing this testimony, and you say, I would love to have this experience. Do you think, Peter, everybody can experience what you experience? Because it seems like heaven. It's fantastic what you experience. Yes, you're right. It, it really feels like heaven. Every time I get into contact with Jesus, it is like heaven comes down. And he lives in my heart now, and therefore heaven has come into my heart. And that is not an experience and a lifestyle for me only. It's for everyone in all the world. No matter what background you have, no matter how your past was, no matter what your parents did or did not, no matter what education you have, you are loved by God. Every man is loved by God. And God has a desire. I didn't know that. God had the desire to come into contact with us. I always thought I have to do something, you know. But God has the great desire to come in contact with us. And he's waiting for us that we open our hearts to receive his presence, his goodness, by believing in what he says. That was the key for me. I started to believe what God says in his word. And that changed my life. And that is for everyone in all the world. That's fantastic, good news. And if you just tune in, welcome to this life. This, it is a weekly hope and healing. And tonight, God is willing to touch you. Peter, as the people just heard this amazing testimony, uh, I know that some of them, they are longing to have the same experience. Uh, would you agree to pray and maybe help them to have this experience today? Because that's the purpose of this live stream, is that you can experience God's presence, God's power, heaven on your daily life. Uh, and uh, if, Peter, you agree, it would be wonderful if you can pray for the viewers and maybe help them to do something or to do a prayer to have the same experience as you had. Yes, I love, I really love to do that because I remember people helped me to come into contact with God. And now I love to help people to experience that thing. So if you are here in, on YouTube or wherever you are, and you love to experience God's presence and you want to invite Jesus to come into your heart, you can just pray after me and uh, pray with your heart and Jesus is going to come to you. Just pray after me. Lord Jesus, I thank you so much that you love me. I thank you that you are the son of God who came to this earth to deliver me from all of my sins. I desire you to be my Lord and my King. Please come into my heart. Forgive me all of my sins and cleanse me by your holy blood. Please make me to your child. Be my God. I receive you now. Amen. Amen and amen. If you have done this prayer, we release the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit over you that you can experience now what Peter had years ago. It's for you. Receive it in Jesus' name. We take authority over every demonic spirit and we set you free. 
as you declare to follow Jesus and as you give your heart to Jesus, we release heaven on your life, peace, joy, delight that gives hope. In Jesus' name, receive it right now in the name of Jesus. If you've done this prayer, willing to to have Jesus in you and to put your faith in Jesus, I would love to encourage you to go to our website to know Jesus. And we want to send you for free a little booklet. Actually, it's translated in many different languages. So if you're coming from other countries, you can order it for free uh, in your own language. It's going to bless you. It's going to help you to grow because the prayer you just done is just the first step. Suddenly, I highly encourage you to find out a Bible. Today, it's very easy. Even if you don't have really a bookstore next to your place, you can just download it for free on the, on the, on the website. You go to Bible.com. You can download it. And it's going to be a blessing for you because God is going to talk to you through this book, not only for your spiritual life, but for your daily life as a part or maybe as a businessman, or maybe you're looking for a job. God is going to speak very clearly. The same, you can talk to God as you gave your life to God. He's willing to become really your best friend. He's willing to become really this dad. Uh, he's willing to hear you and he's willing to talk to you. So you can pray. That's just about prayer. It's just that so simple. You express him what you want, what you feel. You can tell him you love him. He will tell you he loves you. And you will just have this relation with you. And finally, I highly encourage you to find a local community, Christian community, where you can share your faith with others, you can pray for each other, read the Bible together, also grow in the spiritual gift of the Holy Spirit. It's so important that you find a local community. If you are near Stuttgart, go to Gospel Forum. If you are to, in Switzerland, you can come to our church. But there are many other churches. And maybe you are in a country where it's still in lockdown or you cannot meet on YouTube. There are many great churches. But be sure as soon as they open again, find a local church where you can go to meet face to face with other brethren. Peter, thanks so much for sharing this amazing testimony. Now we want to pray for the sick. I know you believe in healing. Uh, why do you believe that God still heals today? Now, first, I have learned that God is a healing God. When I started to read the Bible and I saw that the normal daily life of Jesus when he was on earth 2,000 years ago, that he healed the sick every day. He delivered people from all kinds of diseases. And then I found out that Jesus gave authority to his followers to do the same. He actually gave him a command and said, go ye and heal the sick. And I remember when I was 20 years ago, when I was 20 years old, I started to lay my hands on sick people to pray for them that they might be healed. And I experienced from time to time, God touched people and healed them. And now today, after many years, I see every week people getting healed or delivered from sicknesses because God confirms what he says himself with signs and wonders, with healings and deliverances. He loves to heal people. I learned that, you know, that God loves to heal people. It's not hard for him because he has all power, all authority in heaven and in earth. And if he speaks a word, you know, bam, it happens. So we have seen miraculous things. Let me, let me give you one example. Just happened a few months ago in the Corona time. Uh, a man in our church, he's, he has Italian background. And uh, he got very, very sick. And he asked us as a church to pray for him. And his wife was sitting on his bed. He could not breathe anymore. Everything was so full of pain. And the, the wife told me, and he told me, he was lying on the bed and he made his last breath. And then he died. His heart stopped beating. 
and he felt like his soul went out of his body. And then mm. he came into the invisible world, in the spirit world, and he saw like a spirit of death and an angel were fighting each other about him. And his wife was sitting on the bed and he saw, she saw his husband had just died. And for minutes and minutes and minutes, he was dead there. She was so desperate, she cried out for God. The whole church was praying. And after a while, we don't know how long it was, he made, and suddenly he started to breathe. And he said later on, he felt like out of the invisible world, his soul was taken back into the body and he came back to life. He was resurrected from the dead. Now from wow. there, they brought him to hospital. And there they found out, they made a test that he had the coronavirus, a very bad a kind of corona, and he not even made it to the hospital before. He died before he could get there. And God brought him back from the dead to life. You know, once you have experienced things like that, and that's just a few months ago, that somebody even came back from the dead by the power of Jesus, by simple prayer, that gives you faith and trust that God can do many more things for all people in all the world. And so we see every week people getting healed, getting delivered, and even people now who are there in the live stream, God can heal them in one moment from all kinds of diseases because he loves to do so. Amen and amen. What a fantastic testimony of God's power. And if you are watching and you need any kind of healings, we are going to pray because we have faith in God and everything is possible. I'm doing this uh, lives. So I'm spending most of the time right now by praying for the sick. Almost every day I'm seeing people getting healed. You can go to my social medias and you will find out I put... Uh, testimonies every week. Every week I see people getting healed from all kinds of disease. So be sure to open yourself and just to put your faith in him. And as we are going to pray right now, you are going to experience God's power. Peter, would you agree to start to pray for the sick? I will pray after you and we will just flow a few minutes before we close this live stream, expecting God's power to touch these precious people. Yes, I love to do that. And because I know God has already something in mind. I just felt about two minutes ago that somebody is now here in this broadcast and he has a pain on the neck. And it seemed to me that the muscle was shortened and it was so painful all the time he's turning his, his neck. The pain was there and it was, was not possible really to, to move his head in a normal way. And God showed me that, and I believe the moment I pray that God is going to heal you because he loves you so much, whoever that is, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you now. And this pain in the neck, I command you in the name of Jesus that you disappear just right now. All pain be gone on the muscles, I command you to come in the normal condition by the power of the Holy Spirit which loves this person so much. I can see that somebody is healed on the left ear. You cannot hear properly with the left ear. I don't know exactly, but something is wrong with the ear and you cannot hear well. And the God, I really believe him that he's gonna heal you completely on your left ear. And in Jesus name, you deaf spirit in the left ear and you condition in the left ear, I command you to go and the healing power of God come to you now to this left ear in the name of Jesus. The Ruach of God, the Odom of God comes to you now and he breathes into your ear. I can feel it. Jesus breathes into your ear and it's going to be healed like like this, we will hear this testimony and we glorify you, Jesus, for your power. We can feel now there is more power of healing going through all the internet now. Wherever you are, 
put your hand on your body to the place perhaps where you have pain or some things are not right or the medical doctors have given you a bad testimony of what's going on in your body. There is now God's healing power there for you because he loves you so much. And Father in heaven, in Jesus' name, I speak healing to these pains and wounds and processes of evil in Jesus' name in the body of our friends. And there are people far away. I can see somebody far away, even in India somewhere. God is touching just right now. You have become to this program somehow, but God is touching your body and healing is there for you. And you, the joy will be great for you in your soul because God himself has touched you. Jesus has touched you and brought healing to your body. Hallelujah. I want to welcome just those who just tune in. You are live to this uh, weekly hope and healing. We are right now with Peter Vance from Stuttgart praying for the sick. And many of you are touched because God's power is real. And uh, I would love that you can uh, write on the chat uh, or also if you write to our office, uh, every letters that we receive and we receive a lot. Uh, we are reading it, reading it uh, and we answer specifically. It's not a machine. It's not automatic because we highly, highly consider you. So we read it. We pray over the prayer request. Uh, and in this season of the pandemic, we did something special we've never done before. We are willing to send you an anchor shift uh, where actually we pray over it. Uh, to, it's not a magic thing. It's not that. Uh, it's just a point of contact between you need uh, our faith and God's power. And we have seen so many people healed. And by the way, I said thanks so much for all those who are writing us back, sharing their testimonies. It's so much encouraging, not only for us, but for the other sick people. So please do that. But for those who are watching right now, I pray really, Lord God, that you can heal all these precious people. I pray for Fabiola, who is losing her hair Touch her in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. I pray for Suzanne, who, has, who is suffering from this tinnitus. In Jesus' name, I command this peace to come back. I command this hyperacusis to leave death and Lyme disease. Quit the body of Suzanne in the name of Jesus Christ. There are many people who are writing in French. Just let me say that for les francophones, ce soir, c'est la rencontre pour Hope and Healing qui est en anglais. Mais demain soir, nous aurons la rencontre en français à 19h. Manquez pas, soirée miracle et guérison. I pray, Lord God, for Daniel who is asking to pray for his wife who has a very hard hearing. Touch them in Jesus' name. Uh, uh, Peter, there is somebody who is writing from Switzerland. His name is Dietrich. And he's asking to pray for his mother, Liz, in Kiel, Germany, who is suffering from Parkinson. Would you agree to pray for her? Yes, I would love to pray for her. Father, thank you for this mother in Kiel, in the northern part of Germany. And uh, Father, I ask you that you do a miracle in the whole nerve system of this lady and in the brain. And we rebuke this Parkinson. We ask you, Father, for the touch from heaven just right now for this wonderful lady. We ask you that Parkinson has been taken away and strength is coming to her body just right now. Father, because we trust you so much in the name of Jesus. Thank you that you touch this wonderful lady just right now. Healing be released over her a new strength a new hope in the name of Jesus. Father, I see also this couple, this marriage couple, whose marriage has been nearly broken. There, there mm. seemed to be no hope. And I bless this couple that healings mm. comes to them. And there are parents who have so much sorrow and worry regarding the, her child. And Father, please bring that child back to the parents. Bring it back in Jesus' name, I mm. ask you, because your word is yes. Your, your promises are yes and amen. 
and I thank you. John, Hallelujah. can I pray also for something? I really, I, I feel that God has given me a gift and a heart for that. There are women who have the diagnosis that they cannot give birth to a baby. Mm. And uh, sometimes it's the woman, but sometimes also something with a seed, with a, with a, with a man, who, which is not possible to get babies. And we have seen hundreds of babies which have come, though the medical doctors have said it's impossible, even physically, it's not possible. But God did a miracle, like we read a lot about in the Bible. And if you allow, I would pray now for the women who couldn't give birth to a baby until now, that God Hallelujah. is going to do a miracle for them. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you now, life tonight, for all this precious lady who desire to have a baby, that thou mighty hand is being put on them just right now. And I speak life in their body. And I speak your will be done that they can get babies, be fruitful and multiply. I bless them with the ability, with the power to give birth to babies. And that everything in her body and in the body of the husbands comes into the aura according to the creation order of God the Father, that babies can come forth in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. We pray for Marilyn who has this trouble with the shoulder. I release God's power over you in Jesus' name. Touch Lord God. Olive, we need a healing. Uh, I don't understand what he is writing, but now, Lord, you know what he is looking for. Touch him, Lord. Visit him. In Jesus' name, I pray for the daughter of Alessio, who has this eye disease. I command this eye disease to quit the body of the daughter. In Jesus' name, touch Barbara, who has this jaw and teeth trouble, suffering since nine years. Touch Barbara. Visit her. We pray for Wendy, who is suffering from this cancer, and liver. Oh, God Almighty, stretch your hands and heal Wendy. Set her free from this deadly disease and bring life abundantly. That's the reason you came on the cross. And for those who are watching right now, uh, we are going almost at the end of this live stream every week. I have it, so be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, also, go to my website every week. I'm sending a specific word. God spoke to me during the pandemic, said, Jean-Luc, I want you to release hope on this generation. I said, Lord, I don't know how to do that. He said, just download hope from heaven and release to this earth. So I'm doing that every week. I'm writing that personally. I just wrote the things for the Advent season, Christmas and the New Year's Eve. So be sure, go to my website, jeanlucetraxel.org. I want to send it for free to you. Just go over there, you can register. But now, if you are sick, we will do a general prayer. And I would love to ask Peter to pray for you. And by faith, just put your own hands on your part of your body as a point of contact. And as Peter will pray, and I will pray with him, God's power is going to touch you in Jesus' name. Peter, would you agree that we can finish this way just by praying for all these sick who are watching today or the next days? And uh, as they touch themselves, uh, you will do a prayer and God's power will touch them. Yes, I love to do that. Just put your hand there wherever you need it, wherever the pain is. And now, Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, we speak your healing into the sick bodies. We speak your healing wherever there is pain. We speak your deliverance wherever there are bondages. And we release the power of your kingdom, the power of your love, the healing power of the cross of Calvary, the holy blood of Jesus over all these precious people. Thank you, Father, that you love them so much. And your love releases your healing over them this very evening. 
and nothing shall hold back your healing power over them in Jesus' name. And we bless you. The joy of God be with you. And the peace of God the Father shall rest in your heart. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, Peter. I saw other people who are still writing. We pray for Jeanette who has this arthrosis. Touch Lord God Ornella. We pray also for the Esther's family who has, after COVID infection, uh, they need touch. We pray for healing of cancer for Sandra, Sheila, Ludmila, Zivana. Deliver them. Touch John and Victor. We pray, Lord God, for all those who are watching this yes. live stream, visit them and heal them in Jesus' name. And yes. again, friends, you can write us. We're going to answer you personally. But most important things, uh, now start to do things that you were not able to do. Check what the Lord has done and share your testimony. We want to hear what the Lord has done for your own life. Uh, Peter, as we arrive at the end... Uh, I know you have a word full of hope that you want to release to the people watching from around the world. Would you agree to share it? And then we will close this live stream tonight. Yes, I love to say that. You know, all of you who are listening now, we are living in a special time. Everyone on earth knows that, feels that, can sense that. And the special time, on one side, it seems to be some negative aspects in it. But I have to tell you tonight, there are many, many very positive, godly aspects in this time. We call this time here in Stuttgart, we call it revival times. That means God brings back his godly life bringing power to the people who desire his supernatural intervention. And I have good news. God is for you. It's revival time all over the earth. The gospel, the good news of what God has done for mankind is being preached all over the world. And tonight it will touch your heart and you will be changed. And this word which you have heard from God, it will encourage you for the future of your life. So stay tuned and God is with you. And we're so glad to have this evening together with you. Thank you so much, Peter, for these wonderful words. Uh, friends, I invite you just to be sure to stay connected with us. Uh, every week I have this live weekly hope and healing. Uh, so be sure to connect. Uh, uh, next time we're going to have it the 1st December with walking events. Uh, but before that, we have other meetings as well, uh, like Monday, a special partner meeting. Maybe you don't know what it is. Go to the social media. You will find all the information. And But one thing that you cannot miss, it's the 4th of December. We're going to have a special Christmas miracles and healing service. Um, and this, mo this week when I was praying, I felt God's extravagant love who is willing to release gifts. Uh, on this evening, I spoke to the team. I want to do extravagant things uh, uh, because I do believe God is going to release his gift of healings and miracles. Uh, but also we want to bless those who are watching or coming because it's going to be a face-to-face -face meeting in Switzerland, but also you can follow through YouTube. So be sure to invite friends to be part of that. We are, I'm willing to do, to give gifts. We are going to give away books, but also some food. We want to help the poor people to support the, the orphans and the widows. It's going to be a fantastic evening. Many healings will take place. So don't miss the 4th of December. That's the reason. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can receive all the information. Again, Peter, thanks so much for being part of this meeting. And uh, I would love to encourage the viewers to exercise generosity. Uh, of course, we enjoy and we, I want to say big thanks to all of you who are supporting uh, this ministry. But tonight, everything that you're going to give, it will go directly to Peter Vance. Uh, so you will find out all the information how to, to, to give. Uh, specifically, you have the QR code or you go healing-ministries.org slash donation. 
uh, that will be a blessing. Everything that you give tonight, we will give it back to Peter Vence. So thanks so much for being part of this ministry. Be sure to connect. Uh, and we're going to finish with this wonderful song, None Like You, from Legacy Worship. God bless you. Have a great evening or great week. And see you soon.